Hello, yeah, eh. my name is Frederick Sherman. I'm the Senior Environmental Specialist for Navajo EPA. Thank you for joining us on our second installment of the Talking Trash series. Yate Norvina Charles den Yenishia Kia Ani Nishla Bipa Twani Bashishin Nakida Na Dashiche. My name is Norvina Charleston. I work for Resource Conservation and Recovery Program for the Waste Regulatory Compliance Department. I am the environmental specialist for Navajo Environmental Protection Agency. I'd like to thank the Office of the First and the Second Lady for providing this session that we have. This is our second session. Welcome. Yate Thomas Pitsui the second session. Navajo Environmental Protection Agency, Waste Regulatory Compliance Department, Resource Conservation Recovery Program, Today we're going to be presenting several topics with this second series. We'll be talking about what is the requirements when you're going to report an illegal dump to Navajo RCRP with the EPA office. And then also we're going to review the act and the regulation, the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act and the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Regulation. Then we'll move on to what the what an NOV entails and defines that are um, imposed on people who break their the, the, the regulations. So this is a notice of violation and fines. Then afterward, we'll be talking about what voluntary compliance is about and how that impacts the individuals who are doing the illegal trash dumping. And then toward the end of the presentation, we'll uh, provide you information on online resources where you can get a hold of the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act, the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Regulation, as well as an electronic document of where you can get the forms to report illegal dumping. And then we'll be closing with a take home message. So di elke hona ako hane to le ko eki ko to e ya um eshla ko elke has um else heki she e ya in le um etat eniki um ilze a hot sa chen ya ta yi ye etat eniki ba hot esh nechen zen ko e pe na hot e to ba hot esh netano seno hot e la um. Halet o la al in la do, halet o la ba ho um, ho um, nihich and hojel ne do, ha at ila dan zeno, nihich and hojel ne, a digi ba ya da dil ki. Addo o kune, a ya na has an kune, a di be has an igi, had it a hegi, halet o la nas zodo, ha at ila baka ha nenegi, the act and regulations were liepe la gana ketcher. Do ha ila at ela do ha late o la at an at o o liela, a she ilto. Adona a cone a di nal so sue nil so so. A she ha at ipa ka do beso nalia hegila, a ha ne la do ha aki be has ani baka or apets on a de a quat o sa de a hegishi a quaki bata hoton. Adona kuna a voluntary compliance station. A ya dash 
Benash Nisho at the care o hashed air with a shlil than o senegi, quaegi bears anik in tiki, ha late ola ag air with a stonsto, ha late ola bears aniki, in tiki, a quaegi hashed air, shlil than o senegi, a quae, benaha hot e doshin hajo, na and kink epil na and nisho nas lahagi, ben kodo nichel ischa at that deal nil. Ado e a kedo huna aniki e online resources de niki e e di um besh and sakesto besh besh behanet benakado ohui ah do ohui desh ah do hajo um il zepetet e ope has aniki um um ba e desh tratano seno e a e quaegi ba hon neko nichel ischa et old nil. Adoshin quaegi elch conda dil nil. Na ant kenegi ho rao pesna dal dole hegi a kunche hego ben hegi ha dozi. Take home message del nenegi. E a hot old ke hona agoshin koto nihich ischa et a dil nil. We'll be talking about reporting requirements, how to complete a complaint record form, what's the requirement for, um, what kind of information is required by Navajo EPA. So before you call the Resource Conservation and Recovery Program, you should be able to have answers to the questions of who, what, where, when, why, and how. So if you're able to get collect information that answers those questions, then you're more than adequate and ready to submit and complete a complete record form. So we're gonna look at here a record form that was incorrectly completed. If you look at the top, the first field that we ask for is the date it, the complaint was received. That's the date that you submit the record form to us, followed by the time when the um, complaint was received. And then who received the complaint? Complaint was received by who? It might be myself or my other coworkers that received the complaint. And then we ask for date, time, location, and the responsible party. So in this uh, record form, we notice immediately that we don't know who the responsible party is. It says unknown community member. And then also we don't have a phone number or we don't have a name of a person who's uh, making the report to us. So this makes it difficult for us to maybe um, con contact them to ask them for more information if we're unclear on the case. And then we don't have a phone number for them. And then also the information itself is vague. If you go look down at the bottom of the complaint record form where it says statement of facts, here it says it provides not enough information to really um, identify the issues that are going on. Under the statement of facts, it says, there's an abandoned building that no one uses anymore. It's been years since it was last used. Now it has become a eyesore to people near the community hall building. We see trash inside the building, but nothing gets done. Crows and vultures come to the building, so there might be something decomposing nearby. So that's all of the information we have. So based on that, we don't even know where the building is or who is the property owner of the building. And then there's it doesn't have information about the color of the building, the roof. Is it a double white trailer? Is it a brick building? Is it a building made out of lumber. So these are certain informations that will really help us um, when we're out in the community. So if 
Now we're going to show you an example of a complaint record form that was completed correctly. Here we have information. Here we have more information. If we go down to the statement of facts at the very bottom of the complaint record form, it says, I confronted my neighbor, Mr. Melkin Ran on April 31st at 8.45 a.m. and said, I reported him for littering. He mentioned he will clean up the file folders left in the middle of the road of Highway 385 North, mile post three, but he didn't. A batch of his old homework was left scattered in the road. I witnessed him again with his homework papers, tossing it on the road, same place last night. I witnessed him driving and tossing out paper from the window. He is open dumping and littering. He lives at 456 Mockingbird Lane. He has a blue house with a green truck and a red tractor. Lives at mile post two and is the only road on the east side and is the only road on the east side of Highway 385 North. A tree stump is in the dirt road leading to his home. Thank you. So information like that really helps us. And then also on the complaint form, we have um, contact information of the individual if we should have question. It has the name of the person who is reporting. And then it also has the name of the individual responsible for their garbage improperly disposed of. So these are uh, good information and it really helps us when we're out in the field to locate uh, this particular uh, dump site or this particular uh, illegal dumping activity. In this case, it's uh, litter. So what we go for or what makes for a really good completed complaint record form is photos, GPS, legal description, your name, your contact, name of the responsible party. So um <laughs> Congress enacted a Resource Conservation Recovery Act. US APA has created regulations and acts that manage and administer solid waste and hazardous waste. As a result of that, Navajo Nation has mirror imaged uh, the process. Navajo Nation Council adopted Resource Conservation Recovery Program. Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act and regulations was established by Navajo Environmental Protection Agency. In 1990, Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act was enacted and Navajo Nation Solid Waste Regulation was enacted in 1999. The image that you see in front of you 
is simply the table of content for the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act and the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Regulation. We'll be talking about notice of violations and fines in this section. The Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act has two um, legal languages, section 201 and 204, which states the following. Section 201 of the act provides that all, that it shall be unlawful for any person to dispose of a solid waste in a manner that will harm the environment, endanger the public safety and welfare or create a public nuisance. In this case, household garbage being dumped illegally. Section 201 of the act provides that it shall be unlawful for any person to dispose of solid waste in a place other than a facility, which is in compliance with the Navajo Nation solid waste regulations and other applicable laws. So a kwa ege behaz ani en neniki e ya hat ilze in lev behaz ani keta hot ego ye hat det eheki argent ilze hitik ye do argent adot ilze in lev behaz ani ke hot inge nata hitik ye heki e arge o hot o be on nashiche argent e ya net ilze argent hiti ye ho choint ito lev. Na Ado a corner at a nod that Neneke aya, deeds ill zapedes la dona haya at a heggy, ni hits east ha, um, bed hatchet. Ado la et and chuny gits ill zapeds ado no huid le heggy, no hard and not in heggy. A a the ohot o 
public nuisance. A do a ado and an a stop a car. So a quat o has a quaeki two o one bear with jihigi. Adona a corner and not that nenigi a two o four Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act. In section two o four of the act, it, pro it provides for the language where it says all open dumping shall be prohibited. The neck at a nenigi she a ya. Is a nothing that's ill say a hot sergeant Yahiki Heki Dota Baka. So those are the two languages of 201 and 204 that provide us with the authority to issue out a violation. If you're not cooperating to these uh, standards, that that provides for the for infractions or breaking of the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act. So, Asian Quaegibe has Ani Kijin Tito Lestobic Ehojes Ego Adona Kona has Aniki Eya Quaja Beso Nadlie Nadlieto Peta Danilje to Peta Dit Igi Quaja Be has Anik Echet Hiho Fines Dechna A section five O three Gona Aquat O Nabaka it says civil penalties and the amount of $500 per day per violation may not exceed 25,000. So, so Ashin Aya Deco a whole Ahagishin Aya Um, Hate O Behas Anik isn't he iggy? O that's a O that's a arch in the go edo that that's a tsuzi ye go isn't he iggy? A big eho beso, nadly a haggy, um, nadl kaho, um, nudged out less. Ado na a corner a huna anigate criminal penalties dechna. In the regulations, it provides for criminal penalties and the amount of $500 per day per violation, not to exceed 5,000, or imprisonment for not more than 180 days per violation or both. So criminal, GGA and not that nigo a beson, nadia heki isto a. Ah, a slatten is nothing, do hard e. Addo a deco a stone na hold a a ha a yot ass, do big a hojes ego. Addo a corner a nonest anigi a a ya en a walia bitter dead e o at etchena, do a quaggy. Beso nadia heggy do a walia bitter nil jail. Ah, a kiss not argo. Edo died, that's a ass on go. Edo died, that's a assahajago beso, Edo died a walia. Hedi gishin, Edo died a shit, a assa go. Ha adored niso at etchenum. A could o only get each jar adored nis. We just wanted to cite and reference where these um, codes are at in the um, Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act. So you issued a notice of violation. Now what? If the dump site contains more than one responsible party, the chapter may assist. Maybe you have 100 bulky waste items, or you have some e-waste. Maybe it's a historic dump site. In the same sense, I want to implement Navajo traditional teachings. Inna, in the beginning, you develop a cleanup plan. Nitseha kiss, you do some critical thinking to set a goal. Auto Nahata with proper planning and preparation by providing updates to Navo EPA RCRP office. Your voluntary compliance will end with Sehasin. Ultimately, your cleanup plan for your violation is your responsibility. 
Online resources. We have um, assembled some online resources that where you can do some self-directed reading and also read up into the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Act and the Navajo Nation Solid Waste Regulation. For if you want to read up on that, simply go to NavajoEPA.org and follow the links provided at the top of the website where it says laws and regulations. And if you would like further reading or understanding of the Code of Federal Regulations, simply go to www.ecfr.gov. And once you're in that link, look for subchapter I, which is solid waste, and sections 239 to section 258, all of that. All of it, everything within those sections are related to solid waste, both hazardous and non-hazardous solid waste. And then if you want to read up and study about the RICRA, which is Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, which is an act and not a law or not a regulate. I mean, it's an act and not a regulation. And this act was approved by Congress. So it took congressional action to create the RICRA. And if you would like to learn about that, go to usepa.gov, where you can get a brief summary overview of what RICRA is all about. So Benacha and Behazani had it a hegila hide o elia. Nuns and go aya, quacha et de leek quaggy sa danaj ja eggy, a a cone arja in lago, a ba a dictra, a belaganak etched up a car, um, Naha alchen a belaganak etchen da azoto, de de tinkishina, Naha at hat the Ado bits ado ohidil ado bits ado be um be has ani gin as be was and do a lech. Hit o e had it a website ja o hot o qua again hit ish ja a shla do a lech. So we have several social media apps are available as well for those of you that have smartphones. I believe practically everybody has smartphones now. There are social media apps that can help you with um, taking GPS uh, photos of locations of illegal dump sites. You can simply Google those um, on your mobile devices and download those social media apps to help you get GPS locations when reporting illegal dump sites. Also, you can get Google Map and Google Earth which can show an aerial view of where your illegal dump sites are that you are trying to report to us using the complaint record form. There's numerous other um, available online social, social media apps as well. One last thing that I failed to mention about completing the com, um, complaint record form is to provide georeferencing. Georeferencing is in your photos to put some kind of a 
um, referencing material in the photos to help us identify the location. Like for example, it could be the house, a house, or it could be a mesa, or it could be a rock formation. Something that helps us to identify the exact location of the dump sites. These are very helpful when reporting to us. Every day we generate waste. Solid waste is simply something we can't ignore. We will always be responsible for the creation of solid waste. Nihama nahastzan bekaki hajogo nane dato. Dibe ekel na osil nagi banso keso de. Ani ilko. Salzen ke deite. Shedo shedeite da. Shedo shiketi da. Did <laughs> Uh, this is Frederick Sherman with Navajo EPA Resource Conservation and Recovery Program. Uh, we'd like to close out our second installment of the Talking Trash series to show you an aerial video of an illegal dump site that at a non-disclosed location on Navajo Nation. Hopefully you enjoy the video and um, this is meant to create awareness with the Navajo public. Thank you. This aerial view that is provided as a food for thought as we move forward. It is intended to create a dialogue and understanding of our situation and to come together to find solutions and ultimately clean closures as best as affordable. The site that you've seen today measures about six acres, contains a lot of historic dump sites and is continually growing. This is just an example of some of the dump sites that we see across Navajo Nation. Thank you. Yate, <laughs> 